I love this EQ, man. It's, it's a cool EQ. It does a lot of things. Just, I guess, the reason why people like that fab filter. I can never really afford the fab filter. So, um, I have to use, I had to search out an alternative. And I'm pretty good at finding these obscure plugins, and obscure companies. This company is called Hornet, and it's, come, and it's out of Italy. Some, a lot of little things. I don't trust companies too much. I'm kind of leery of them. Like they're just trying to get your money. But for this company, you can't really beat it. For this plug-in that I'm getting, it's like, I paid 10 bucks. Uh, it's a dynamic EQ, but it's also, also could be, you know, just a parametric EQ. A number of filters, even if you look at it, if you go right here and you click into this high pass, that's at 18 dB, they got all the way up to 48 dB, 24, 18, 12, 6 dB. A high pass resonant um, filter. So I can put a little bump on the end. Um, it always, I always like that. It just brings out the sound, whatever you're putting it on. If it has some bottom end or something like that, just cut a whole bunch of it out. Uh, and then the thing about this is also good because this thing is cool. It lets you listen to what you're cutting out. It's nice, man. It's really smooth. And if you move this, you would check out the res resonant bump on it. It's a more shallow. So if you want to shallow that out, make it like a 6 dB pass. Or you can bring that thing on in, give it a bump at the end. So it's really cool. <laughs> It's subtle as shit, but if I go through each one of these things and just show you what it's doing, like this is doing this. Just that bump. I can make that a dynamic bump, or I can make that a static bump. It's all on me. If I wanted to go dynamic, I might want to go up on that bump so I got some play in that. You see how that's playing right there? That's how you know it's dynamic, so it's bringing that up. That's just static. I find it works way better going when you're giving it a boost and you want to get some little play Say you got a vocal or something and it just comes to a certain part where you just want a certain lift, then that's what it's doing. What you hear is what's being taken out. And it's a resonant bump. So listen.
and you notice I switched that to mid. So this is great because you could do mid side EQing with this also. You know, it took me a minute to figure it out myself. So I can't really tell a person and don't feel qualified to teach mid side. How everybody says it, just mid side EQing, mid side. Nobody really explains shit to you because nobody really knows. So this is the frequency that you're hearing. But right now you're only hearing the mid section of that frequency. If I go to stereo, you're gonna hear the stereo sound of that whole frequency. That's just that. Basically, just look at the stereo as like mid side, everything, all in the one. That's what you hear. Okay. So that's the how that side frequency sounds in that frequency rate. This is the mid. So of course you're getting some because you're getting some mid frequency signal. If I go stereo, you're gonna see the whole thing. What I wanted to bring out was the mid, which was this. Not all of that other fat that's on there, and I wanted to boost that sound. off this high end if this is the sound of the mid that's how it sounds stereo this is the side those the side of what we're hearing that we're cutting out the side the sides of that particular frequency the mid of that frequency the stereo of that frequency so this thing is a great tool because of the fact that you can actually use it in that way where I'm just showing you. I mean, you can really get in the and um, mid-side EQing and stuff like that. It is a complicated type of thing, but this is a cooler EQ. You should check it out. It doesn't cost much. Uh, right now, you may pay, you may be paying twenty bucks, twenty-five bucks for it. Um, and it's, it beats paying 200 and something dollars at FabFilter. When you people like us and you work from home, you really can't afford it. So when you, every time you make a purchase like that, um, it should be on the hopes of trying to use that to try to make more money. <laughs> so if you don't want to be a hobbyist and you actually want to get some work from this, um, find the tools that you can use that's not gonna cost you that much, but still gonna give you the same results and things that you need. Today, I just feel like using this particular tool. On this particular project, I just wanted to lay um, the Hornet uh, Total EQ over all of the tracks, even the, the master buses and uh, the, the drum buses and stuff, um, and the auxiliaries. These are some great uh, plugins, man. Uh, Hornet, the Hornet company, you should look them up. If you don't believe me, just, you know, go look them up yourself and I wouldn't lie to you.